yeah, so um, when I first started painting and um, really knew I had a passion for art was, you know, my whole life, mainly in high school, and I did paintings inspired by George O'Keefe, and like I have like, my paintings are very much inspired by Frida Kahlo, but with plants and things, I've always had an interest in botanicals and always found a really interesting connection between plants and people. Uh, I wanted to think about how, what am I going to be making as an artist my, that's going to show what I want to present to the world, but also have a dialogue, but also be happy with what I'm making. So I always knew that I love painting plants, but also I love history and the history of people, and I'm multicultural myself. So I have a very deep connection with coming from like different backgrounds, different cultures and things like that. Um, and plants are very much representative coming from different areas and also migrating and adapting and um, being in an environment and things like that. So I wanted to mix my love of plants, but also the symbology of plants with the history of people and migration in a surrealist fashion. When I was thinking about this project, I was thinking, so I can, collecting the plants is one thing, but where to put the plants and what environment do I want to put the plants is another thing. And I, I always wanted, I guess I, when I was growing up and seeing the development of Chula Vista and its growing pop, population, thing like that, and thinking about what did it used to look like? What was the, like the mountains before all these houses and buildings? And what did San Isidro look like and Tijuana and like all these different areas? So I wanted to incorporate that virgin landscape of uh, the South Bay and including landmarks that people can recognize. So, you know, San Miguel Mountain, all the way to the Otay Lakes, to Santa C or Tijuana Mountains, to uh, the Tijuana River estuary area, and Imperial Beach, and things like that, and incorporating landscapes that we've been exposed to living in Chula Vista, and make sure it's recognizable to people. And including the plants in that environment as well, because the plants are very much just people, I think, and making sure to pay homage, but also acknowledge a lot of cultures that have contributed to our modern community. And so obviously the paintings are very much about like history and people and um, like, the mixing of different cultures throughout time and things like that, but also in like a contemporary sense of like globalization currently and how much we're so dynamic and people can come from born in this place, but then raised in this place and have parents from these cultures in these countries and, but then end up living their whole lives in another country and being like our identity is so wrapped up in like migration and people and being around different cultures and being a part of cultures and just being aware of our differences but also celebrating that.